I start by praising God for today, for the gift of life, and that we are all able to be here to celebrate Mama Janet as a person and her work with the whistle. We are so happy, Mze and Mama, for allowing us the chance to celebrate you. I thank the leadership at Uweso uh, for organizing this event to honor Uweso's founder and to give the rest of us a preview of Uweso's journey thus far. When Mama started Uweso, I was a, a little girl. We had just returned from a life in exile and in gratitude to God for preserving her family alive and gratitude for the lives of the little children she encountered in Luero. With a few of her friends, Mama started Ueso. In the book of Exodus, the story of Moses, the Lord sends Moses on a big assignment, and Moses is very reluctant and unsure of himself and his own abilities. Then in chapter 4, verse 2, the Lord God asks Moses what he is holding in his hand. It was a staff, a, a, a walking stick. So God Almighty worked signs and wonders through Moses and his staff. This story reminds me of the founding of Oweso. What was, what was in her hand and the hands of the compassionate mothers who were her friends is what the Lord worked through to establish a haven of hope for many, many orphaned children and youths in distress. This trait of using what she has in her hand to fulfill her work is something I admire in Mama, my mother. A few days ago, as your birthday approached, I was reflecting on a few things about you. And an image kept coming to me. It was an image or a picture of a lioness. And it is a perfect description of you, Ginga. Mama is and has always been so graceful, regal, and poised. And these characteristics are visible. What is less visible to the eye is her fearlessness. Underneath that gentle maternal exterior is a courageous protector. Everywhere Mama goes, by the grace of God, and despite the challenges, she blooms. She works quietly and systematically, sowing the light of God and complete transformation in every assignment of her life. Her service is marked fully by her relationship with the Lord God, and her life is saturated with her love for Jesus. I see his seal of favor on everything she does. The Lord blessed you, Mama, and gave you Mze to be the mantle of cover over you, to whom you are the perfect helpmate. I hope today gives you a glimpse into the hearts of the generations you have raised up, Mama. I must say that I have been humbled at 76 to see better the goodness of God. And I'm also grateful to the people who have organized this day and who chose to bring all of us to Masurita to celebrate my birthday. Thank you for honoring me. You may have been invited, but you didn't have to come. You had to apportion the time to drive the distance from town to this humble village in Masurita, and I thank you from my heart for doing that just to honor me. Thank you so much, friends, and I call all of you friends, for choosing to obey God's call and make the time to travel from town and come. Let me first of all Thank him who has given me the gift of life and time on this earth. 
You have given me time to collect the blessings of experience and to develop empathy. He has enabled me to understand a long view, the eternal perspective of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. And it has impacted the value of my time on earth. Therefore, I thank him because I know that long life is a blessing not given to all people. And then becoming older has enabled me to remember the events of my life and put them in their proper perspective. Just like when Joseph in the Bible was sold into slavery by his brothers, which was catastrophic, but decades later, Joseph was able to see how God used his brother's treachery to position him to save millions of people, including his brothers, from starvation. And you could say that God also, in my case, wanted to use me for children on a national scale instead of just to waste alone. And he knew he could get younger people like Jureka Guhanjire and all of Romania to come here and stand in the gap for me and take care of Weso along with my own children. Therefore, every day when I wake up, I know that God, through his grace, has given me a new day. And I thank him, and I ask him for protection for all my loved ones and for Uganda. We must know that while being alive is important, what is even more important than life's length is the quality of one's life. What is important is that it contains meaningful content. And it also means that each of those positive deeds should impact others in beneficial ways. A long life is a great blessing that comes with a great responsibility to do good with that life because that is what honors God. When God gives us a long life in this world, I believe it is because he has work for us to do. He wants us to develop our God-given gifts and use them in his service as good stewards. So when God, in his wisdom, granted me life and placed me where he chose to place me, I knew that there was work out there he wanted me to accomplish. God still reminded me of the fact that he is the one who kept our family alive, with Mze in the bush, and with us out in the world. There was no way now I could sit in my home and feel comfortable and mother just my biological family, when I knew that there were other children who needed a mother. Of late, we have been bringing children from the streets. When the orphans in, the, in our country were becoming less, when HIV and AIDS was going low, we had another new problem of street children. And so every time we pass by children on the streets, I knew we had to do something about that also. And so all the children you see here now are from the streets. And many of them are from Karamoja, unfortunately. So we had to do something, and by God's grace, we are doing something. When early on in my life I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior, I made a choice to be intentionally grateful, to take on a mindset of gratefulness. And this attitude of being grateful has helped me in many ways. For instance, when I went into politics and became involved with all Ugandan children and people on a larger scale, Masurita and Uweso suffered. But God raised children, my children, 
Natasha and Edwin started looking for others who came up to raise money for Weso and Masurita. And God, who sees all things, gave us more children, even those who are not Ugandans. I have a son called Manish, he's seated right there, from Tororo Cement. You keep hearing Tororo Cement, but it's led by a, a young man that I call my son Manish. When he came to give a hand, a helping hand to the group of Natasha and Edwin, he offered to help and really he put a new face on Masurita. That is how Masurita looks this much. I want to, you to thank him and his team for me. I thank you for being here, really. I thank you for being willing to spend your time here this afternoon. And I pray that all of you now take this challenge. You can see my comrades in arms, you see. Mrs. Ahmed, I don't know whether you've seen her, she's right there. She's now in a wheelchair, but she used to stand and walk with us. Now she's feeble, and, but she, she had to be here. Now we need you young people. And God has blessed Uganda with many young people. Many of our leaders now are young people. So we invite you to hold hands with us and let's help to lift up those who are feeble and unable in our society to stand on their own. I thank you so much and may God bless you.